Well, good day, guys, and welcome to the episode of Team Mad Mod Up Fishing Adventures. Well, it is a brisk winter morning. As you can see, you got all the, the fog rising on the off the top of the water. Sun is just coming up. Beautiful winter sunrise. Got a slight breeze from the west, just to make sure it uh, makes you feel alive in the morning. Uh, today, I've uh, got the old boy along. He's just down there tying the knot. And uh, our aim is to uh, flick some plastics around in, in the hope for some, uh, some flathead and some tailor today. Pulled up at that first spot. Uh, out of many today, later on today, we'll actually beach the boat and do a little land based fishing as well. Fish little drains and creeks. Alrighty, hopefully, we'll see you soon. Fish on. Yeah, first lizard of the morning. Not a big fish, but on the board. There we go. Legal fish at that. Alright. Yep. I'll be keeping this one. Hmm? I'll be keeping this one. Alright. Yep. There you go. 45 centimeters and on that crock bait beautiful start to the morning i think that was my third cast yep fish on So I'm using a new profile called Paddle Shad uh, and the old boy's using flick bait style. I think it's about the same size flathead I reckon. Maybe a little bit bigger. You wanna extend that net out for me? Come down this side. Down there. Him? Oh, yeah. Go out to him. There we go. Beautiful. Another fish for the, the board. Another fish for the table. 
that one's a bit bigger as you can see that croc bait paddle shad doing the, the damage again put him on the lie detector There we go, that one's 52. Another beautiful flathead. So my aim today is just to get, my aim today is just to get enough for the family. And uh, then after we get enough for a feed, then the ouch, start releasing everything, putting a tag in them. There we go, beautiful. There we go, first fish of the morning, 45. This is a, a catch and release session for myself and the old boy. Oh, he was ready. <laughs> oh yeah. He was gone before I knew it. Ah, uh, my two, I think. Yep. Oh, another one. Number two for Grant. No, you got too much run off line out, Dad. I know, I accidentally brought him in too far. <laughs> he was about further. Too much excitement. Yeah. <laughs> How many is that, Kurt? Another one. <laughs> He'd be more than 46, 46. Yep. Yeah, drop him back. Yeah, he's ready. Yep, I'm on. You're on? Yeah, I'm on. Dad releases one and Another one. Sweet. Nah. Definitely smaller. Yeah. The other baby. Yeah. Yeah. It's still coming out nicely there too. Yeah. I'll slowly work our way down. That tide's just starting to go in.
Oh, yep. look at that, the splash and then the, the hook out. Not a nice, not a bad fish. How are you? Nah. Come the other side of you. Yep. There we go. Whoop! <laughs> Beautiful. That, uh, yeah, was that, since you got that splash as you were saying, that yep. happens. That new profile, mate, is uh, really paying off. Yeah. First cast in the next spot. Yep. Here we go. Another beautiful fish. Um, unless you want another fish. I'll take one more. You'll take one more? Yeah, I've got five in the family. No problem at all. Here we go, bait fish, the four inch paddle shad. Paddle shad, that's it. Yep. <laughs> uh, you want more flat photos? Uh, that'll do, the big one and that one, two different yep. colours, that's fine. I can get one of these. I'll get one of this anyway. Sorry? Now I've, already, I've, I've got six now. Got six? Yeah, tag three and. All right, another one on that croc bait. Definitely on the size, so this one will get a tag in it. He's got parasites down his throat. Look at that, little lumps down there. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. I know we can pick that up on camera. All the little yellow spots down his throat. Some sort of parasite. Yeah. Little tacker. 31 centimetres. Sorry, dude. There we go. I don't know about you, but I've seen quite a few times where you've been bringing up little rat flathead like that. The big girls follow them up. Um, BCF's main brand Primal and I bought one at full price which was I think like $130 and they stopped manufacturing for whatever reason they come on sale for $30 each so I bought five of them yeah, yeah. and they're a great little rod yeah. for what they are yeah. I kind of like having no corky because it gives you direct contact with the rod I, I, I fish like that. Yep. Uh, but I didn't come back. So. Yeah. Oh, look. No matter how big a person anyone is, there's so much poking a person can take before you go, you know what, that's it. I've had a gut full. And no matter how you retaliate, it's, it's, it, it becomes like a sense of relief to yourself. Like, yeah. Yep. Just after the cast in too. It's on that uh, bait fish on the four inch, four and a half inch again. You actually smash that for a little fish. Wayne uh, 
was flicking away, hooked on to a, uh, a quite nice fish, and just after hook up, lost that fish. Unfortunately, that's the way the, go the game rolls. He's just upgrading his leader to 15 pounds. Still, wait, I'm onto a fish. <laughs> Go. Another nice lizard. I'm just saying, um, Wayne's just upgrading his leader to 15 pounds, and this one fell to a, a crocodile, bait, bait fish. fish yeah. and there we go. Nice one. Another beautiful fish. This be nearly a pigeon paired to the other one we got in the esky. This one uh, won't be going back. And 60 centimetres and on the the bait fish there. It's good when you can see uh, little gutters yeah. keep a bait flisher just flicking on that little corner there Oh, net this one. Swap sides. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Beauty on the pumpkin seed. Fish of the day. Then I had a hit and it all went loose, but I didn't know it was swimming. And I thought, shit, if I just take up the slack, it might be, uh, might be what we're looking for. Right, Wayne uh, has tied on one of his pumpkin seeds in the paddle sheds and it resulted in a beautiful lizard. What are you guessing? Uh, I go about 62. 62, I'm going 63. Or a flathead rasp. I've oh, just put a, a tag in this beautiful girl. You want to release her? Oh, you do right. Yeah. You're right. We're going to release this one. We have got enough for the table. Get her head into that current. Get those gills oxygenated. She's clamping down really hard on my thumb right now. You can see I'm actually not holding her. There we go. She's ready and she's off. Beautiful. done here is uh, got my one eighth jig head on a 3 and got my scissors 
and just very 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 uh, lightly just been cutting lead off just to uh, make the jig head quite a bit lighter because as you see out the front of me I don't even pick it up on camera it's, it's quite shallow it's half a meter so what we're doing literally casting it out wait a couple seconds to get to the bottom rod tip a little bit high and just a little bump bump with your rod wait a couple seconds bump bump always keep an eye on your your line really concentrate on any little bump through the rod that may indicate a bite and get ready to strike because that jig head is actually you know slowing so that jig head is actually falling slower than it did uh, originally would be because I've, I've shaved about half its weight off so you get more of a suspend as you're going down instead of it just dropping like a brick basically and like always I'm just working the clock working the clock and uh, hopefully that uh, nice flatty will come along and go thank you very much to one of these gobblers lures. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. Oh, it's got a good hit. That was a good hit. Yep. Yes, I've seen that too. See, my theory, my theory is the lizards should be starting to move up onto that shallow weedy bed now yeah yeah no i did see it too land in the swirl then halfway back i got a really big hit but unfortunately it was after my second hop and I was paused, so it was, this, it was on the sink, had the whack, and I just wasn't, wasn't quick enough to set the hook. Alright, been hard slog, but got a fish. And this one is on the, uh, the old curl tail, the three inch. Definitely not a big fish, but at least I got a fish. Alright, dad's on the little rat. On the on the 3.75 croc bait. Yep. Oh it's a flounder. Oh, it's a yeah, it's still a capture. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright. That's gold. Yeah. And they actually start their lives swimming like a normal fish. With two of an eye on each side. Yeah, and, and stuff change, like their head, eyes change, but not their, their mouth. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know, look at that. <laughs> that is perfect. Playing doggo. <laughs> Another fish. This one's a bit better. A bit better fish. Hopefully, I can stay connected. It's only uh, six pound. Running up the leader. Oh, come on! Stop! Stop!
Come on. You. That's a nice flat fish. That's a nice fish. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, yep. we're just doing pure catch and release today, so this fish can go back. Right at the moment, he's just biting on my thumb. When he's ready. He'll let go and, and swim off. I can feel his, I can feel him breathing. I can feel his tongue moving on my thumb. Let's see if I can get my, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Catch him, mate. So basically what we're doing here is um, just working all these edges. So we've got a bank, a lot of rocks, pontoon, all structure. And what we've been doing is literally tides going in, throwing up and working it down under the pontoon. Because you know, your jelly prawns and all that sort of thing will sit under these sorts of structures. Probably a little brim. What do you got? Uh, where's the little lizard? Little lizard. Yep, keep his head in. Beautiful. Oh, no. uh, textbook what not to do. Yep. <laughs> and I'm just I'm just having one of those days today. That um, particular flathead there actually fell to one of Wayne's brand new two inch curl tails in UV Pro Stinger. And that's it there. Absolute beautiful little flathead. I will put it on the measuring stick to fifty three. So I've literally been jetty hopping to try and locate fish. We're fishing the inside bank at the moment, there's a lot less current. Don't be afraid to it's all like throw in front of the pontoon so when it dives down when it sinks in the uh the current you're as close under that pontoon as you can possibly get because that's shade under there at the end of the day bait fish will get under there to get out of the sun try and hide from predators
onto a little fish. I think this one might be a trevally. Oh, the diamond trevally. Beautiful. A little diamond. Haven't caught one in many years. Look at how beautiful that is. Come on. Bow hooked it. Yes. <laughs> in many, many, many years. Just check how beautiful that fish is. And I didn't foul hook him. The very first time I've ever tried this uh, green color from Gobblers. And tell you what, even though it's only small, I am over the moon with this. Absolutely beautiful fish. Definitely releasing this fish. Absolutely beautiful. beautiful tassels on him and I will release this oh, he's definitely ready to go gone Or is it Jigong? No, no, it's not a Jigong. I thought it was the channel. Jigong. Yep, yep, sure is. Jigong. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. That's the first time I've seen one. Yeah. The old Jigong. Pretty cool. Howdy. The uh, things you do to get your lure back off mangrove roots because you're running out of them. I've only got two of these little three inch shrimp left and I ain't losing one to a stupid root, that's for sure. Cools me down at the same time. <laughs> Move over old boy, jumping in, other side. Oop. Hit the button again. sand like the ones you see here quite often there should well there should be a lizard sitting somewhere at the end of this little finger wait for the uh, bait fish to funnel down between the weed bed and the sand so in this area here there should be a lizard of some sort
Yep. Fish on. Ooh. There's a bit. Yeah, there's a better one. That way. In the water. Beautiful. And as I was just explaining, there will be a lizard somewhere in there, and this just proves it right. If you study areas and work it and work it and work it, you eventually find the fish. Now, this is a legal fish. It'd be around that 45 mark. Um, you want it for a feed? No. No. Oh, that's a better one. Yep. Fuck, there goes the donuts. Finally, old boy. <laughs> so ain't taken all day, but at least it's a legal fish. Yeah. Biggest of the day. Wait a sec. I want to give that to James. Yeah. Give him the two. Yep. So it was a fairly tough day with the conditions we had today. We had 20, 25 knots gusting to 30 at times from the west. There was literally not a soul out there. But when you know, if you read the conditions correct, stay to your lee side of the, the uh, your estuaries, bays, creeks to get out of the wind, you can produce some nice fish like you've seen today. Now over the uh, last few months, I've been giving uh, gobblers lures a red hot crack. I tell you what, the old croc, has changed the way I fish. But now Wayne has brought out a new pattern. Your paddle shads. Which I have been absolutely smashing the flathead on the last couple of trips. As you've seen today, hard conditions, but we came up trumps. Now Wayne, what was your idea in creating like a flick bait crossed paddle tail? We had a customer down in New South Wales who was um, targeting large flathead and that type of thing and uh, he was looking for something that would have a not such a paddle tail this is our six inch paddle tail but you can see how thick it is through the wrist here so we decided to move the jerk shad with a paddle tail so that you've got this thin wrist so it moves very easy at very slow speeds so we found that on the hop um, and on the drop the paddle really works well. So sometimes with a jerk shad and those type of things, they'll they'll spiral down instead of actually swimming down. Where I find these swim. So these can be used as a top water lure, burned across the water. Um, they they swim really true and they drop nicely and they can be slow rolled. So they can basically cover from the surface right down to the down to the bottom. Um, at the moment, the testing, flathead have been going wild on these. We expect once the weather warms up, August, September, the jacks will start hitting these. So this will be something that you'll be, you know, skip casting under mangroves. And we've also sent them up to uh, one of the impoundments uh, to be tried out for the barra as well. And I expect that they'll work on those as well. So yeah, a very good all round lure. Oh, 100%. Like, I, ha I did have a lot of confidence in your product, but since these have hit the market, Fish, fish just can't resist them. They are, they are unreal. Just as, as even when you're, you're working it, you can feel the beat through your rod. Even if you put it in the, uh, next to the boat, in the current, you'll see that whole paddle, or actually the whole lure will actually sit there and wag like a tail, dog's tail out. Unreal. How many did you catch on that? How many fish did you get on that? Three. One? Three, yeah. And yeah. it's still perfect. Yeah, you got That's, three on that. They're, they're, they're not 10 times elastic, but they are very durable. They're very and robust. you would expect yep. to get probably half a dozen fish on each lure. Well, this particular lure I got in my hand here was actually from the last episode uh, that my dad went out. Uh, unfortunately, I lost a few, and this was the last one I had. And it would have caught six or seven fish when dad and I were out there, and it caught three today. And it's had absolute hammering. There's a few little scuffs on it. I mean, there's a little bit of uh, tear in the front here, but for the amount of fish these things can catch and stay true and swim, they are an awesome product. 
The best thing about them, Australian made. So you can't really beat that. Just like my past episodes, it's always about persistence. Get out there and give it a red hot shot. Well mate, thank you very much. It's been a long time since we've been out for a fish together. Last time was 1770, so it's been over a year. But I've, I, I bet you there'll be many more good trips to come. Definitely. Beautiful. Thanks very much. No problem at all. Alrighty guys, don't forget to give this old video a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. Until next time, cheers and good luck.